Hello there. What's going on everybody? Today I'm bringing to you a video a little different than my normal gaming videos. I'm actually going to be talking a little bit about gaming with your kids and involving them in your hobbies. Uh, and I've recently started to do that a little bit more. So I'm going to talk a little bit about myself and what I've been doing and a cool experience that happened to me involving painting with my kids and uh, and so like this may not apply to everybody and I re recognize that but I figured you know this was kind of special so I think it deserved a video of its own so uh, for those of you who are new here I do have three children they're currently aged six nine and as little as two so uh, you know they're kind of all over the, the spectrum I've been doing a little more board gaming with my older kids and they're starting to get to the age where they can play games beyond the simple games like Jenga and Monopoly. Uh, so like they were even played games like Catan and I'm starting to consider getting them into games like X-Wing and Armada and things like that as well because you know kids are a lot smarter than we give them credit for. And I will tell you this, there's few things that really give you this sense of fulfillment uh, as, as gaming with your kids and when they tell you how much they loved it and they're looking forward to the next one. It was really, really cool experiences that have been happening lately. But one of the problems that I've noticed is that my youngest, Lando, who's only two, uh, you know, he really can't do that sort of thing. Uh, I had a problem mid last year where I was painting some figures from a game called Zombie Side, and it's a miniatures game. And for the, if you're not familiar with miniatures games, a lot of times you get these, you know, nice paints and brushes, and you paint your figures very detailed so that they can show up right on the board and they just you know and you take a lot of pride in the way you paint these and it's usually I, something I only work on uh, after the kids have gone to bed because I don't want anything the paints are expensive and I have a you know it just I, it's something that I that soothes me I'll put on an audiobook and I'll just and I'll paint for a few hours in the evening and just kind of let all the pressures from the day melt away and that's something that I've always had for me well my youngest always wants to see my paints and get a hold of them anytime I happen to have them out. And then usually, like I said, I usually do this after the kids are in bed. That's one reason why I will always do this. Uh, and, and any of my hobby stuff, also it's dangerous. You don't want kids spilling paint all over the place and you don't want them getting a hold of you know paint thinner or if you have any chemicals out. Well, one time I was doing some painting for these zombie side figures and I was doing it in the middle of the day uh, during while my youngest was napping. The older kids were, you know, playing Xbox, just were having a lazy day, and I figured, you know, it's safe for me to do this. And I went to go use the restroom, I come back out, my, my youngest had woken up from his nap, made his way out to where I had all the paints, and had picked up a paintbrush and started repainting my minis. Now, I had been working on these for days, and he just stuck a paintbrush in the brown paint and had repainted over about four or five figures and I remember seeing it seeing the scene and I think I just kind of screamed I was uh, it is not my finest moment but it was it was a, a, a like partial shock partial terror um, you know I have really been working on these for a long time and uh, my oldest said dad you've never made that sound before and so I felt bad. I felt bad about that. Um, and, it, and, it, and, and so one of the things I tried to do is I said, well, maybe there's a way that I can set aside some time for my youngest to actually paint with me. I can get a throwaway mini or something like that. And, uh, and so that's what led me to the course of this video is I said, you know, I, I probably need to put the super attention to detail part of me aside and just let him paint something. So, which brings me to Star Wars Legion. Uh, I was painting this past weekend, and I decided, you know, I'm, I'm just going to let him go for it. I had an extra miniature. I had a spare miniature. And these Rebel Pathfinders, uh, basically, there's, you get two different minis, but you can only use one. So you're going to pick which one you want to use with that unit. And I have two separate units of Rebel Pathfinders, so I, I really kind of had two spare minis. So I will let, you know, my middle son paint one. Uh, and I let my youngest son paint paint the other one. Now my middle son did a pretty good job, uh, but my youngest, you know, kind of had a crazy, crazy uh, outing with it. But he loved it. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to walk you through some some photos of what happened because I think the photos are really going to tell the story, and and it's going to show you something that really cool. If you've got young ones in your life, you know, I'll just walk you through my process. Um, so here's here's my youngest Lando, and he is painting 
this Bistan mini. Uh, now, Bistan was a character from Rogue One. He was one of the aliens uh, that was on the ground with the rebels. And this kid absolutely loved it. He was trying to be so careful. Like, and he was all over the place. But he's, he's seen me paint before. And he loves it. So he's trying to imitate Daddy. And, I mean, kids love to try to imitate their parents. So that's one of those things where, like, you always have to make sure that you're aware of that because they're going to try to mimic those things. So when I had that time where I saw him and I screamed, I've always remembered that. Like, let's try not to do that because we don't want to raise them to be screamers. You know, we don't. We want them to, if they see something that is frustrating or disappoints them, we want them to deal with it in a positive way. So that's what I'm trying to do in this case is try to turn that around into more of a positive way. So... So he was painting this guy, and and, and it was um, oh, it was just it was just lovely when he was done with it. So I'm going to show you uh, the, the 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 product when he was finished. Now he I, I actually posted this photo on the uh, Star Wars Legion Facebook group because as I said, check it out, guys. Look look what happened. It was pretty funny. Um, now this this mini did have a coat of uh, gray and white primer over the top of him, so that's why he kind of looks white. Um, and then they said, that's how very patriotic of you. And I'm like, yeah, it, is, it was, uh, you know, so I gave everybody the story. It got a lot of, of positive feedback. And some uh, suggested, well, you know what? You can actually, this mini is not that bad. You, it kind of looks like a neon glow. And you can actually do some things with that. Like uh, some people suggested maybe I'll uh, putting a wash on it. And I said, you know, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. I wonder if I could potentially salvage this mini and uh, not or salvage may not be the right word, but if I could make put this mini to better use and actually maybe use this mini in my games. Normally, I always paint mine up to be a little bit more realistic, and I, I spend a lot of time painting my minis for my tabletop games. Uh, but wouldn't it be cool to actually run with one unit of Rebel Pathfinders that were actually painted by my son? And so I decided uh, to try to improve on this mini a little bit so it would be like a teamwork effort. So what I did is I put some Nuln Oil, which is a wash, and it's like a thin, if you're not familiar, you know, if you already know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, Nuln Oil is basically a thin black paint that is going to go over the top of everything. It's very watered down, and it's going to go rest in all the recesses, uh, and basically it, it paints the, like the shaded areas and the darker areas that might have shadow on them. It helps bring out the detail. So we put that on, let that dry, and then once that was all dried, I had a much more shaded miniature, and I took a little bit of white, uh, what is called a dry brush, where I take a little bit of paint, put it on the brush, and then I wipe it off over and over again so there's hardly any paint on there. So when I run it across, it just kind of catches on the raised edges, and so what it does is basically I've taken my wash by painting the low points and I take the, the the dry brush and paint the high points and then I let all of this paint be everything in between so it gives the model a lot of depth and so I'm going to show you the finished product here uh, this is how it came out when I was done with it and I was like you know this looks actually really really cool and it's like a teamwork effort between me and my son so and I'm like that's it almost looks like maybe a comic strip like maybe a, a you know uh, the, the Sunday morning paper um, you know very comic strip maybe neon um, very much like it though, uh, or somebody even suggested uh, that maybe it was uh, this was a paintball fighter, and he had gotten hit. It's a training exercise, and my rebels were doing some paintball, and uh, and I was like, that's that's pretty cool. So where are we going from here? Uh, I actually just went ahead and decided to let my youngest son Lando go ahead and paint the whole rest of the unit. And I'm going to run you through it. And he did. It. He went with different colors. I let him pick out whatever color he wanted to do. I'm, it was done supervised, of course. I wasn't going to let him do it when I'm not there because then something might get spilled. Uh, you know, who knows? When fingers might go in and, and, you know, we don't want fingers going in there and in the rest. It's not, you know, it's toxic stuff. So we don't we have to be very, you know, very, very careful if you're going to try and do something like this. But here is um, basically the rest of the Rebel Pathfinder unit after he was done with them. I photographed each one of them. Um, and uh, you know, it's just that some some the, some of the paints went on real a little thicker than they should have. I tried to thin them a little bit beforehand. Um, here's another one. This this uh, is a little blurry from this shot, but uh, he got a lot of pink on this one, pink and green. I tried to make sure he got a lot of the uh, you know a couple of different colors on each one. Uh, so I gave him a little bit of guidance. But he, I, I got to tell you, he he, he was just so thrilled uh, picking out different colors and being able to do whatever he wanted. And that 
was more important than me having the minis painted the way I wanted to because I was making a, a memory here and preserving a memory. And I think it's, you know, if you've got kids in your life, like making that memory and solidifying it as something that you're going to use or keep on your shelf or a trophy that you can take with you forever. And then when they're in their 20s, you can be like, you remember this? We painted these together. Kids will remember experiences. It's the time with you that they're really going to remember. Um, and, and so, you know, like <laughs> these came out so, so you know, Normally, I would have been horrified, um, but now that I've kind of gone through and said, you know what, this is what we, um, we're going to do this, it's going to be great, um, and so, yeah, so that's what happened. So, I t this was the whole unit. I, I decided what I'm going to do is I was going to do the same effect. I was going to apply a wash and a dry brush over all of these and make it a full-blown paintball squad, and so I give to you the finished unit. So there, there they are. That is, and I have some other Legion minis in the background. But yeah, that is the full paintball squad uh, collaboration between dad and son. Uh, we have uh, put a, the Nuln Oil wash on all of them after his paint has gone through and a light dry brushing or a dusting of white over the top to get the raised surfaces. The minis actually, I think they look really good. They do um, kind of look like they've been involved in a paintball war. Uh, and, and I think it makes for a great discussion piece and just a great option to have uh, like on my shelf even if I stop playing this game someday and I don't play Legion anymore I'm always gonna have this to look back on and remember that father-son bonding moment so I just thought I would share that with you guys uh, let you know um, you know, maybe something that you can do. You know, even if you don't have kids of your own, maybe you've got a, a niece or nephew. Uh, most of us know somebody who's a lot younger that would really love the opportunity to paint with us. And uh, and, and and if you can do something like this, you can preserve uh, the the quality of the mini and all the detail that's there, even if the paint job that your young one gives it isn't quite that great. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. That's all I have for you today. I do want to remind you there is still time to enter the lightsaber giveaway. That's still going on. Just if you're a subscriber and leave a comment. There's more details for that on crabbock.com. Or if you're new here, um, you know, I do invite you to subscribe. I will, uh, you know, I generally cover a lot of tabletop gaming, Star Wars, collectibles, all of that. Um, so, you know, I definitely invite you to stick around. Uh, click the bell for alerts if you'd like. And uh, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me. I also want to thank my patrons on Patreon. You guys definitely make this all possible. So I want to thank you all as well. And uh, as always, have a great day.